I hate doing these videos because lately I feel like I've been doing a lot of them. The only break I really had was placing well at UMG South Carolina. What's going on guys? Sad Player Apathy here and today I'm bringing you a video talking about the qualifier, talking about this weekend, talking about the worst thing I really don't want to talk about but I feel like I should. I should let the fans know what happened. I should let everyone know what happened and about me. You know you guys are the fans, you guys are the people that support me every day and I should be just interacting with you guys I should be one-on-one -on -one with you guys you know always telling the truth always being honest with you guys and sharing my story sharing my life and what's happened recently so a lot of you guys know we played H2K this weekend we managed to go up 3-0 I was playing phenomenal my team was playing good and then it all just went downhill from there they were starting to win maps uh, we lost the CTF it was pretty close we were like whatever it's all good we're up 3-1 let's just get the next map hunted we're up 4-1 at this point, you know, we feel like we have it in, in our hands. You know, we feel like we have this. That's it. We're going to win this match 4-1, and we're going to qualify for the league. And then we just did stupid mistakes, little mistakes that cost us every single round. I mean, rounds that should have been ours. It was about three rounds that should have been ours 100%. And then they just came back, won like 6-4, won five rounds in a row. And then they just kept doing that every map. The hard point, they just demolished us. The uh, S&D, I mean, the two S&Ds, like I said, were close. But, you know, it just happens. I mean, I really don't know what to say. Team just fell apart. I felt like we lost composure. We lost our confidence. And they just pretty much ran us. I managed to still play pretty good throughout the series. But, you know, I, I just think I felt like we just lost composure. I felt like, you know, once it, like once you go up 3-0 and you have that confidence and you have that, just, you feel like you have this. Like, there's no way you're going to lose. And they start taking a map or a map or two. It completely, like, I feel like it just destroys people's confidence. It just, like, they start losing full. I myself been through that so many times, so I still stay composed. You know, I try my best to keep my head in the game and stay focused and just keep going hard. But I want to apologize to you guys, apologize to the fans, apologize to everybody who supported us, apologize to the people who believed in us and really thought we could have done it. And to lose in that way of being up 3-0, to completely just lose it all at once, it... It, it, I really feel bad, you know, you know, you guys heard rumors, Merck might be, might be retiring, uh, Burns is probably going to keep playing, just maybe find another team, uh, Study might get on league team, I'm trying to get on league team, you know, I mean, it's not official yet that we broke up and like we've broken up, but I'm pretty sure you guys know, like if one of us were to get an offer into the league team, it, we're going to take it, because in season two, it's so important to get into the league, so obviously, you know, we definitely, if we get an offer, we're taking it. But like I said, it was just very unfortunate. I feel extremely bad. Like I said, for Team Liquid, you know, they believed in us. They they pretty much assembled this team thinking like, we're going to do it. We're going to qualify. And to be so close and have it at the palm of our hands and let it go, it's honestly demoralizing. It's heartbreaking. I feel like I let a lot of you guys out and people supported me. A lot of you guys wanted to see this team, you know, go all the way through, be in the league, keep playing with each other. And it just, it sucks to, to end this way. We just, we just didn't qualify. And I, without a doubt, still think I'm very talented. I still think I'm really good. I still think I have what it takes to win it, even a championship in this game. You know, this, these are like obstacles on my way to, to being or getting on a really good team these are obstacles trying to hold me back but I I know because I watch myself play obviously I'm playing the game you know I see the stuff I do I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do too and I truly believe that I have what it takes I think I'm really really good at this game and this is probably one of my best Call of Duties ever in in, in ever so I definitely know that I have what it takes to be one of the best I have what it takes to maybe win a championship I have what it takes to be on a really good team and that I know I can I can I can elevate that team, make them better, make them stronger. You know, I just I'm just sad that we didn't qualify. I really love Team Liquid. I mean, the org was amazing. The people inside were amazing. You know, the players I loved. You know, Team of Mercs, Thirty Study Burns. They're all character. They're all fun to play with. You know, even though we had our moments, we have our arguments, we have all our stress on each other. But overall, it was just really fun. It was a great org, great team. Had a ton of fun playing with with these guys. And, you know, me and Study were pretty much like the duo. We played with each other all the time. We always made jokes. We always hang around with each other. And it kind of sucks to see, like, this whole, like, sort of like a family just break apart all because we didn't qualify. And I just want to say one more time, guys, I'm really sorry we didn't qualify. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see us qualify. I know a lot of you guys believed in us. I know a lot of you guys thought we could do it. And I thought myself, you know, I played, like I said, phenomenal throughout the whole series. Uh, obviously, there's always plays you think you could have done better. There's always little things you think you could have done better. But I feel like... You, you shouldn't always have to like do it all right like this is the reason you're guys in a team right everyone has to do their job everyone has to play good if a certain player maybe doesn't do good in a map it can really hurt the team it can pretty much cost you the map i remember the ctf i think merc only got like eight kills i'm not calling him out 
but you know, I kind of am, but yeah, just an example, I'm just trying to say example, you know, he only got like eight kills, he, he knew that he fucked up, he knew his CTA, his, his slang game wasn't on point, and it, it hurt us because we, we almost could have still won that map, if he probably stepped it up, maybe got 16 kills, even if he went negative like five, but if he got like double those kills, you probably would have won the map. And it, that's just the way COD is, right? It's in, If your team's inconsistent, if you have a player who's inconsistent, it can hurt you. Obviously, he can have his moments where he shines, he does good. You know, that's good. That's good for you. It really can help you. But having an inconsistent player, you know, sometimes you can do bad on the map. And it just can cost you. It completely costs you with the map. It can cost you a series. And that's why, you know, Optic's really good. Because all four of them are really consistent. For the most part, they always perform. You got FaZe, which mo almost every single player performs. You got Rise, which most almost any player performs. So, like, a lot of these players on, like, the top three, top four teams always usually perform. Now, when they play against each other, they might, you know, obviously you're playing one of the best players. You know, you might not perform all the time. But I mean, like, with any other team, like, out of the top four, like... If you, that's why they're so good, because they're consistent, and that's what just makes them so successful. But like I said, guys, not sure what we're doing yet. I don't want to sit here and say that we're breaking up 100%, but there's a high chance that we are going to part ways. Uh, me, and, me and Study might try to find a, uh, get on a league team together. If not, he might join another league team. I'll probably join, end up joining another league team. And I just want to just have, I guess, a fresh start. You know, like I said, I know what I'm capable of, and I just hate bringing these videos, man. I truly hate bringing these this bad news to you guys. A lot of you guys witnessed it. You know, it's, it hurts my heart, and it, it just, I'm tired of this shit. Like, I'm tired of be, failing. I'm tired of losing. You know, yes, I did. We performed good at Team Just Out Carolina. We placed good, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, I want so much more. I want to win. I want to play UMD 25Ks and win it, or at least place like top four every time. I want to go to events and place like top two, top three every time. And obviously, you know, I need a team to do that. And I'm not sure what team I'll be joining if I end up joining a league team. I'm not sure what players will be in it. But all I know is I want to have the best possibility, the best team, the, the best roster possible that can help me do that. Because like I said, I think I'm really consistent. I think I'm really good in the game. I want a new team, a fresh team to start with, you know, work with each other, have that motivation, motivate them to get better. I want to just, I want to work so hard on us getting better, you know, building chemistry, building, building teamwork. Like I did on a liquid, you know, we worked really hard every single day to get better. We probably were one of the teams to play the most out of any team. And it just sucks for it to like all fall apart that way. Either way, guys, I hope you all have an amazing day, uh, devastating weekend, but you know, hopefully things get better for me. Uh, just going to keep going. I, 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 I personally feel like, and this has just been past calls. Like I, I feel like I'm really skilled and I, I'm good. And it just, it's, it's, if I quit, it's destroying, it's throwing that skill away. Like I really feel confident. I really feel good about myself and I, I know what I'm capable of. And I just don't want to throw that talent, that, that skill just away. Like it's nothing. I think it's something I can definitely use to, you know, maybe win a championship in the near future or place really good again. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep pushing, uh, see what happens within the next couple of days, maybe the next couple of weeks. And I'll inform you guys next next time. Maybe I join another team. Maybe uh, something happens. I'll let you guys know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Sad Player Apathy, and I'm out. Peace.